Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. You know, over the years I've made hundreds of rule summaries and reference sheets and they're all on Esoteric Order of Gamers of course, but maybe you've wondered how I actually print them out and laminate them and get them ready and put them in my games. Well, I thought it was long past time for me to do a video on the subject, so here it is! The first step, of course, is to download the file and open it. So let's open this one for Dark Moon that I just recently uploaded. And you can see on the first page it tells you all about the Esoteric Order of Gamers! Yay! You don't need to print that out, of course. Next page gives you information about the file. There's the version number, the latest update date, the name of the game, the publisher, and of course the pages within the guide uh, describing how they're all put together. So you can see the first two sheets are the rule summary front and rule summary back. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll print out those two sheets. They are page 3 and page 4. So if I open the print dialog, here it is. I want to print pages 3 to 4. There we go. Now make sure that of course uh, your page is set up the right way. This is set up as a portrait page and we want this to be a landscape page. So we go landscape. Also make sure you're at actual size. These are designed to be printed out at 100% so you really want them to be at actual size. Uh, then you set up your print specifications. In my case it's gloss color and the print, se print settings are uh, photo paper, fine color, improved print quality. I really recommend you do the best print quality you can uh, because they'll look a lot better. Then we go print and print. Here come the pages. Now I highly recommend you print these out on glossy paper. It gives you the best quality but you can also print them out on high quality matte paper as well. Now that I've got my first two sheets I'm going to trim just two sides and the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to glue these together and I want a guide for gluing them together. So for the front sheet I'm going to cut across the top and the left edge and for the back sheet I'm going to cut across the top and the right edge. I've got a steel ruler and a craft knife. So this is my back page, so I'm cutting down the right hand side and I'm leaving the rest because I won't have to cut that until I've actually laminated this sheet. This is my front page and I'll cut across the top and the left side. Now when I glue these together You'll see that these two cut edges will line up here and I don't have to trim all the rest of it until I've laminated. The next thing to do is stick these two sheets together. So I'm using a can of spray adhesive. Give that a good shake and I'll go outside to give this a spray. That's one sheet. Sheets. Now that I've got my two sheets I'm going to line them up on the corner that I cut. So that's in the top right hand corner, that's in that corner and I'm going to line them up carefully and then I'll take it and put it under a sheet on this pad give it a good rub so it's all nice to seal together. Okay, the next step is laminating. So here's my glued sheet and here's my laminator pouch and I've got my laminator on. It's been turned on and has warmed up. Now I use two different weights of laminating sheet. This is 80 microns, which I use for double-sided sheets. And I use 125 microns for single-sided sheets. So they're roughly the same thickness. So I'll pop this in my laminating pouch. Now be careful you haven't got any cat hairs or anything in there if you've got a pet or just dust or anything like that. Smooth it out. You can see I've got two things on either side of the laminator to make this a little bit easier because I can actually sit it on there and then slide it into the laminator and I don't have to hold it as it's going in. 
that these boxes act as a guide. So through it goes and out it comes the other side. And you might notice I've got some heavy books here. And I use these because as soon as it comes out of the laminator, I want to put it between the books so it's squashed nice and flat. So there it is. Put it under these heavy books. And I'll leave it there a little while to cool down. And finally, here we are back at my trimming table. And I make sure I've got a nice sharp blade. And then I just trim it along the edges, edges of the summary. Now you may have to shave a little bit extra if it doesn't line up perfectly. You can check both sides to see that it does. Of course, as always, watch those fingers. And there you have it. And that's it folks. That's the process I go through every time I want to print out one of my rules summary sheets. I get this lovely laminated sheet which goes into the game. Oh, I haven't done that. That's the crucial step. Here's Dark Moon. In it goes, into the box, ready to pull out and learn the game at a moment's notice. I hope this has been helpful. Of course, your mileage will vary depending on what kind of printer you have, what computer you're using, what kind of laminator you have, all that kind of thing. But this is the rough idea. Also, if you have a very good printer that does double-sided printing that lines up perfectly, you don't have to go through the whole process of sticking the two sides together. But anyway, I hope you found this very useful. And I'll see you next time on the Esoteric Order of Gamers. Don't forget to check out the website, orderofgamers.com. And also, remember, I'm on Patreon. See you next time.